Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail. So in the last battle we had uh, loads, loads more prizes. And there's uh, only one thing we can do about that. We'll send uh, basically all of them to Admiralty, yeah. Uh, there, there, I don't really... have a need for most of them. I'm gonna add the London to my fleet though. But uh, terrible Admiralty, outside Admiralty, Ajax Admiralty, Bedford Admiralty. We're going to add these two to the fleet though. The Concorde and the Montague to sell them. Concord sold Montague sold there we go and uh, then we're gonna head on to the we're gonna fin do this one first of all that's an easy uh, victory for that mission and uh, we're gonna press the next stage our success on the high seas convinced Congress that further development of the fleet is necessary However, as with all political bodies, no one can agree on what the focus on this new fleet should look like. One congressman, William Ellery, has suggested that you should decide based on the two prevailing directions. Your decision will shape these thirteen colonies navy forever. Choose wisely, Captain. So... Uh... Crew. Report. Minus 25% recruitment costs, plus 10 ships cons. Well, we never buy ships anyways. Minus 20% ship repair. Uh, yada yada. USS Providence. Let me guess, she is not a warship. No, she is a uh, fifth rate. She has money. I'm sorry, I have no need for her. Praying on the Week was a great success. Now we have two battles. We have the Battle of Loggerheads on the 23rd of December, 79. And the Battle of Martinique on the 17th of December. So uh, that is our next battle. Our ally, the Comte de Guichin, and his large fleet stationed at Martinique is attempting to draw out the fleet of British Admiral Sir George Rodney. With the British fleet distracted, the French army under the command of Colonel Henry Toussaint will land and capture the British naval base at St. Lucia, Barbados. If they are successful, it would effectively end British dominion over the West Indies and give us control over crucial supply lines. We will be supporting the French fleet in this endeavor. Rodney has taken bait, but the vanguard of his fleet was unable to engage before nightfall. At forced light, we engage the enemy. Oops. So we have up to nine ships. Um, let's uh, repair all of our vessels. How many ships is this? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. Wow, that's perfect. Um, let's worry about this guy first of all, because uh, he is one of our uh, proper ships. 1755. Let's do optimal crew for now. Let's mount the biggest, scariest guns we can. Yeah, one of you. Ah, they're not available. Ah, that's a shame. Uh, we can pop some eighteen pounders though. Awesome. 
that's at least uh, somewhat of an upgrade. Let's uh, get our crew going. Let's see. Ooh, you have a bunch of upgrades. Let's do max uh, supported crew on board. Let's do max crew. Max crew. We're going to do max crew on all of these guys. And after that, we'll worry about the upgrades on the... On the... On the London. Okay, it would have been nice to have some more officers, but... It's a start. Dylan has all the officers, though. That's important. Okay, let's see. We want her to be fast, for sure. We want... Let's do it in the same order. We want boarding gear. Let's... Yeah, okay. Crew isn't that expensive, so... Uh... Let's see. Boarding equipment. Next up, we have the lightweight gun carriages. Traversing gun carriages, in fact. Oh... Wait, wait, wait. I have a genius idea. I have guns to sell. Or rather, I have guns I can sell. And sure, let's uh, sell those carronades. Now I should be able to pop the last one, which is... Uh, wheeled carriages. Yep. And we can max out the crew. There we go. Awesome. Now we have our little uh, fleet for the Battle of Martinique. So let's set sail. Uh, let's do the big guys over here. Actually, let's do those guys. You. new so we'll have the fast guys in this group and then we'll have uh... did i miscount no i didn't slower guys in that group and uh, let's start we arrived just in time for the battle this battle will decide the fate of future French support and possibly the war. While Gushin forces engage the largest ship of the line, we are to engage the sm smaller Royal Navy frigates and pick off the wounded. They're just going at it. Admiral Rodney seems unable to maintain an orderly battle line. Several stragglers have been separated and engaged. One such third raid is badly damaged and ripe for the picking. The British are attempting to cover the damaged third rate as it retreats. If we can destroy her frigate escort, she will make a fine prize and prove our worth to our allies. Our allies need our help. Let's do what we came here to do and show the British the real terror of the seas. Yep. Uh, let's see. Let's have you guys detach. Everybody will be loading the grape.
I want you guys full speed. Go after the battle line. I want you to join after the frigates and you together with the Scarborough will hunt down the go after the 74 that's uh, strangled. These guys are the fast boys, so they'll just ignore the battle. Try to uh, help out the main battle that's going on. Ca maybe capture, like, the stranglers will move from the... From rear to the front. See what uh, we can eat up. What do we have here? Literally just four frigates. Uh, do full sail ahead. Should be easy pickings for our fleet. Really should be really easy pickings for our fleet. This is... Uh, this is rather unfair if I do say so myself. The British just stand no chance. Our mighty battleships will destroy their day, or ruin their day, rather. Let's head more this direction. You head more this direction. Oh no, he has fired at the Orpheus. Whatever shall I do? Let's slow down so that we can uh, hopefully get both broadsides firing. Emphasis on hopefully. Doesn't look like it's happening. I'm not gonna be I'm gonna be honest, it's kinda disappointing that the Peg Pegasus got off so lightly. See, let's remember to pay attention here. Now nah, we're talking. Just start boarding the bastard, I guess. Set to just pass. Uh, you keep on going. Those guys are really fast, those 90 gunners, Jesus. Um, minimum price crew, you can uh, just piss off.
Wait, why did you not start boarding that guy? Uh, speaking of starting boarding, just start boarding with this guy. Yeah, let, let's get between the Sphinx and the uh, Sterling Castle. Okay, minimum price crew. Set sail. You keep on sailing after Andromeda. Uh, you weigh anchor. No, actually, you need to uh, keep on sailing to this guy. You need to piss right off. Um, you need to board this guy. And hopefully we'll be able to capture some ships here before it's too late. Awesome. Or this guy when you can. Oof, that, la that last moment maneuvering on my part ruined the broadside. But we're gonna have... Uh, we're gonna have the... Serpus pop uh, another broadside in here and then continue off to the trident. Which the Serpus will... Uh, take over. Okay, prize crew, check. You guys will follow there. Oof. Let's order them separate now. Okay, let's uh, start sailing these guys over well down there. These two ships should easily be able to handle this uh, ruined Bologna class. So I'm not too worried. Let's hold fire on the port side for a bit.
Excellent. How's it going over here? They're passing by now. Let's have you turn. You're also going to board him. Let's see how's things going over here. Keep on sailing. Keep on turning. You have started boarding. So you weigh anchor. You slow down a lot. Okay, you also weigh anchor. So you turn around. Serapis has started boarding. Excellent, should be an easy victory for the Serapis. And the London has started boarding. Excellent. These should both be uh, rather easy victories. Of course, there's a limit to what we can capture since we need to send over prize crew as well. Ah, oh, poor Matthews. Okay, uh, price crew plus some extra because uh, circumstances. You can get away with just a prize crew. Hopefully they'll be able to stabilize. see we'll just keep them uh, still here for now um, let's see you will park yourself right next to the sinking ship and hopefully stop her from sinking Oh, the sandwich has barely taken any damage. Interesting. That is interesting, since the rest have taken significant amount of damage. Okay, so the next target is the... Resolution. And you will try to speed your way out of battle. Let's try to save the Citoyen. Hopefully. The Torbay is probably sinking. Okay, well, if it's gonna take that long, just keep them separate. Uh, let's turn you around. Let's turn you around.
Oh, the resolution is uh, not in happy, uh, not in a happy place. Okay, so the setup piece will just pass by. Keep on full sails. HMS Torbay is surrendered. Oh. Oh, that's too easy. I'm gonna send the Serapis in there to take possession. Okay, that's on another ship. That's now a concern of mine. Let's have these guys wait and join up on the line there. Use hill there. Don't you dare, Torbay. Torbay might be able to recover before we get there. We're gonna board the resolution just ASAP. We're still going to board the resolution. Yep, the Torbay has recovered. Let's have you slow down. Let's do half speed for a second. Um, nope, that's not the... You're slowly sailing your way forwards. Uh, let's see. Price crew check. Full sail ahead. Ah, yeah. Started and won the boarding. Um. Over here. Sail him there. Let's just have him chill here for a bit. Excellent, excellent. Hopefully that'll be a quick uh, victory. The London has gotten one star already in this battle. Hopefully we'll get them their second star in this battle as well. Okay, minimum price crew. Use it sail. Can we join that? You 
go for attack. Will you allow the boarding to start? Nah, doesn't look like it. Let's see, how many do they have left? Four British ships. As long as we don't lose any of our ships, I'm happy. Oh yeah, okay. HMS Terrible, I think, is going to be our next target. Simply because she is stuck in irons, basically. Let's have you join there. Okay. Let's have you sail that way. Let's send over a, a prize crew. And then the, this guy will try to join the fleet. You can finish your the mission or continue your fight. I'm continuing my fight. This is too uh, profitable. Uh, let's send this guy more close hold. Just to ensure we have the better gauge. Okay, that's one of ours. Um, port side, so that's the right side, right? Yeah, the, the right side being the left side. Yeah, I know it's not, it's a bit confusing, but ah, poor C2N. Let's send some there and some there just to uh, ensure their safety. Gotta head more that way. You gotta follow the Scarborough. Oof. Okay, that's uh that's an oof. Especially since we spent effort trying to capture her. Oh, we literally can't add more crew on board. That's annoying. Um. Yeah. That is very annoying. That, that is one of the four ships we've captured so far sunk. And let's throw this onwards here. The setup is will uh, board the HMS Terrible. 
Oh. And these guys will then maybe, maybe board uh, terrible once we uh, capture her. I do hope we keep the resolution though. Uh, didn't I tell you to... Yeah. I'm on the wrong side, or the London is on the wrong side rather. Make it a swift and efficient battle, please, Serapis. And I think that's the last boarding operation for the Serapis for now. We have two more, one more in the London. Okay, let's have the London try to get to Cornwall. Let's slow down a little to shoot the uh, Princess Royal. Okay, set full sail. Okay, that's one of ours, good. I also wouldn't mind just beating them into submission. I don't necessarily have to win the board. Oh. Yeah, like that happened. Let's sail uh, quickly to take uh, possession of the Cornwall. Uh, slow down quicker. Okay. Uh, minimum price crew. Now let's have the sandwich and the Sarah piece sail away. Awesome. Price crew, the London has another boarding in her. Ah, and the London does have her uh, promotion. Resolution is still doing okay, it seems. I am scared of losing her. Wait, was the setup is 
crew among those. Yeah, okay. Serapis crew is important because it's one of mine, you know. Otherwise, it wouldn't have been that important. Just to snake between the French ships as well. Now I have to snake in on the other side. So that I can board and take possession. Ooh, let's not sail. Let's have full focus on uh, crew. Or on, uh, not on crew, but on... On uh, survival. Make sure the ship doesn't sink. Destin oh perfect. You can help the Cornwall Cornwall. Cornwall has repaired her pumps. Come on. Yeah, the London isn't fast enough. I don't think we're getting a broadside in on this tack. We have to go ahead and do it another tack to uh, get our uh, get close enough. And the solitaire is uh, annoying for that. Okay. You idiot Sphinx. Catching the Princess Royal will be a pain in the ass. Water pump break again. Oop. Okay, now we're getting on attack where we can... Uh Hit the Princess Royal. And hopefully make her a prize. Let's try and just go for the boarding ASAP. If I had control of these ships, I'd tell them to just fuck off. Full sail ahead, keep on going. Oh, wait. 
you can join that, then you do join that. Nice, that made, uh, might save. Uh... Okay, way anchor. And one wounded lieutenant. And victory is ours. Oh, ha, ha, look at all those chips. Okay. Awesome. What a glorious battle. Despite being so young, I am truly impressed by the officer nor your, your navy has produced. You executed your duty well and together we will bring an end to this war. That's wonderful to hear. One thing that I need more of though. I need more officers and I need more admiral's assortment. Because, uh, yeah, we keep on losing officers, which leads me to having to do janky stuff like janky stuff like that, which uh, is a shame. But oh well, um, we're gonna end the episode here. We have uh, yet another glorious amount of trophies. So I do hope you all enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe and all of that. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.